Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. And we're basically gonna just dig into what you can expect in love, what's been happening for you in the recent past. We'll also look at the challenges in love, what's been going on there, if you have any, and a little bit about the person you're dealing with, what's on their mind right now. So let's jump right in for Aries. Let's see what messages we have for you, Aries. Spirit please for Aries what can Aries expect for Aries in love what can Aries expect what's been going on for Aries in love what can they expect in love wow the knight of pentacles something that has been taking some time to get to you Aries it's an offer of some sort There's something here about social media for some of you. I don't know what it is, but it's like this is a ends up being like a social media post or something like that. Three of Swords, Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is coming after some difficulty, after some disappointment, heartbreak. I mean, there's the Ace of Cups. So I, fe I feel like something is coming your way after some sort of difficulty here. What else for Aries? What's coming towards them? In love for Aries, what's coming towards them? Death, Scorpio energy. So this is a new, a whole different cycle that's starting. The world's at the bottom of the deck. Death um, is all about endings and the world is about endings and, be and beginnings. So I find it very fascinating that both of these cards are coming out together here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. I feel like this is something that's growing from an ending. So I'm picturing a cement um, sidewalk and there's a flower growing. So I feel like this is, again, this energy of recent drought or difficulty for you, Aries. And then there is a shift happening with this Knight of Pentacles. This could mean anything. This could be somebody that you already had an ending with. This could be somebody that you've never met before or never had a connection with before. It could be something new. I feel like a door is opening for you into a new cycle here. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles and death for Aries. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about this Knight of Pentacles and Death energy? Oh yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, beautiful, and the Three of Cups. So I feel like, again, this could be interpreted in the two ways that I said. This could be somebody that you are reconnecting with, or you're just meeting someone new. And no matter which boat you fall into, all you need to know is that things are moving. There is some sort of fortunate energy here or a fortunate event or divine intervention or something like that. A shift is happening for you. That's that's basically what you need to know. It's starting with this Knight of Pentacles and it's starting, I'm speaking to an Aries that has had a difficult ending or some sort of difficulty in love in the in the recent past. What's going on for Aries in love? What's the energy for Aries in love? What's the energy for them in love? Deep regret. So we have the Five of Cups coming up again. Remorse, guilt, responsibility. There is regret over past actions. This could be regret that you're feeling or that someone else is feeling. Secret admirer at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this could be someone that you have some sort of history with now that I have these two cards together. Someone could be observing you like on social media or something like that. And they're like, man, I really should have done something differently there. Or they're feeling remorse. This could also be you, Aries. You could be missing someone from your past, having regrets about that connection. And then this happens kind of in the midst of all that. What's going on for Aries? What's the energy for Aries? Wicked stepsister, jealousy, drama, interference. My goodness, this is becoming, the plot thickens. <laughs> the plot is thickening here, Aries. So the, what, what this is telling me that there's 
there's multiple things going on here, multiple people. Maybe someone got in the way. Maybe there was some sort of jealousy or drama between you and another person. Um, if you're dealing with, who was it? An Aquarius. Go watch that reading because they had a third party that was not happy that they were getting into a connection. Bottom of the deck, we have pot of gold, abundance, stability, treasure. So what this is telling me is that no one's getting in the way of this, Aries. They could try, but it's not going to work. There's still abundance on the other side of this for you. Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, by the way, these are my own Oracle decks. I do sell them on Etsy. They're linked in the description box if you're curious. So let's look at what's in the gone on in the recent past to kind of lead up to this. What's been going on for Aries in love in the recent past? What's been going on in the recent past? The Six of Cups. The past is relevant here, I feel. Or soulmate. What's been going on for Aries in the recent past, Spirit? Two of Pentacles. Some of you have been having questions about the past. The High Priestess is here, maybe because you don't have the answers to something. Maybe you didn't get closure about something. Maybe you're wondering if the past is meant for you, if this was a soulmate for you, if this is a special connection, if there's something that you can't let go of that makes sense. Um, Queen of Pentacles after that could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you're doing well, Aries, but for some reason when I saw this Queen of Pentacles, I thought of the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles has everything but a partner. Like they're missing the partner element. And it, that's the energy that I got with this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're kind of like focusing on yourself, on your business, on your money, on stability right now. But in the back of your mind is almost like, but where is my person? What happened with so-and-so? Am I ever going to have a connection like that again? Is something else happening? Is something else coming in for me? Et cetera, et cetera. Tell me more about this Six of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Cups here with the Two of Pentacles? The Hermit. Yeah, you're thinking about this. Virgo energy. In the recent past, this is what's been happening. You've been deep in thought, reflecting on the past, reflecting on past events, thinking about something. What's the challenge for Aries in love? Spirit. Oh, that one just like flew out. Oh, wow. The Page of Cups. So I feel like some of you, I don't think you've even gotten like to the step one. Maybe you're waiting for an apology, even a small apology, and you haven't gotten it. Or um, maybe you haven't been able to, I don't know. I feel like for some of you, you haven't even felt enough feelings for someone to want to be with them maybe you're dating people and it's just the spark isn't there something like that i'm getting that this page of cups is not enough and it's in the challenge position so it could be that it's just not even like appearing for you not even a small yeah there's the nine of pentacles again you're looking for a partner that's the challenge i don't think that you're you're getting anywhere with that let me know if i'm right about that in the comments but I feel like this Nine of Pentacles is that you're doing very well in other areas of your life, except for this one thing. It could be that you're getting offers, but not from the person that you desire, not from the person that like, like there's no real interest there on your part, you know? Can I get one more, please, for this Nine of Pentacles? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Ace of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this is what you want. You want a new beginning, a new start. Maybe at first you were happy being single. Maybe at first you were okay with being single, but maybe something's changing for you because I feel like this is what you want. 
you want a new beginning in love. I don't know if it's with a specific person or just like in general. This is what you would like. I'm messing with the tripod here. Okay, so let's look at this other person, the person that you have been dealing with or will be dealing with. Spirit, tell us more about this person that Aries is connecting with or will be connecting with. What's their energy? What's on their mind right now, this person? What's on their mind right now when it comes to Aries? What's their energy? What's on their mind right now, this person? The Aries is has or will be connecting with what's on their mind right now what's going on with this person that Aries has connected with or will be connecting with what's on their mind right now three of Pentacles high priestess can we get one more tell me about this person. eight of wands okay well, when I saw the High Priestess, the first thing I thought of is that they don't want to share what's on their mind. It's like, well, whatever I'm working on, I don't really want Aries to know, or I'm keeping it to myself to some extent. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Wicked Stepsister. I think someone else exists here. There's an interference of some sort. It could be a boss. It could be a partner. It could be an ex-partner, a parent a sibling, a friend, someone that wants to be more than friends, but is a friend, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's like something else here that's kind of an issue. However, the Eight of Wands, let's look at the Eight of Wands, because I feel like this is, um, this could be communication or action that they're thinking about taking, because this is what's on their mind. Spirit, why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Nine of Swords. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Oh, ah, I'm just gonna take those two. Four of Swords, <laughs> Seven of Cups. Okay, same energy. Um, I feel like this person is still thinking about what they wanna do and I think they're scared about taking action whoever this is they're not communicating not taking action if they are admiring you from afar they haven't decided to take action towards you yet because they don't know what action to take seven of cups i feel like they're silently planning silently figuring out something seven of cups four of swords the high priestess and I think the hold up here with this Nine of Swords, obviously fear, anxiety, but I find it fascinating that it's right under the Three of Pentacles. So I'm almost getting like the third party, the interference, whatever is going on there is interfering with this person taking action in a way. Like it's keeping them from taking some sort of action here. Where is all of this headed next between Aries and this person? Spirit Angels Guides. For Aries, where is all of this headed next? Where is all of this headed next? Ten of Swords, my goodness, okay. Death, Ten of Swords, the world showed up earlier. Something with cycles ending. What's this? Wow, the lovers, Gemini energy there. Where is all of this headed next? Where is all of this headed next? Queen of Wands and the Hanger Man. Okay. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Well, I could tell you when I saw the Ten of Swords and the Lovers, I instantly thought the end of a partnership is a partnership ending or a cycle ending with a partner. I feel like this has to happen for this Queen of Wands to take action, but there's going to be a delay with the hangman it could very well be that this person you're dealing with maybe they're involved somewhere else or have responsibilities somewhere else aries and they want to 
kind of address those delays and holdups and whatever's in the way, but it's not going to be a quick, like, and you've had this reading before. If you're dealing with someone that's already like busy with something else or someone else, I feel like that's ending with the Ten of Swords and the Lovers. And this person is wanting to take action. Queen of Wands, Knight of Wands is here. So they want to take action, but the hangman is like, I can't. It's like a, the pumping the brakes here. It's like um, what they want to do, they can't right now. I'm going to have to see in the extended what's going on here. I'm going to have to clarify all of these because I feel like all of these have so much more to say in a way. So I think I'm going to focus the extended on that and also on this person's intentions because yes, the Eight of Wands, Queen of Wands, that's action. Knight of Wands, that's action. But what kind of action? I think it's communication personally. And I think this is communication you would be eager to hear. You know? But they, they are not ready to make a move yet, Aries. They can't. And I think it's because this death card, this Ten of Swords, has to happen first for them to bring you a Knight of Pentacles. So I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to dive deep into the outcome and then look at your person's genuine intentions. Let's get a PS I love you before I wrap this up. I'm just going to get one and then I'm going to get some more in the extended. I'm also going to get some secret moons as well because I feel like this person has been hiding their true feelings or their plans or what they hope for. What's on this person's mind? So if you want to check out the extended, it's linked in the description box. What's on this person's mind when it comes to Aries or this connection? I don't have the courage to face you. Well, that makes a lot of sense. But I also feel like they, this, I'm getting an energy too that they don't have the courage to face the third party either. So that's, they don't have courage right now to make a move, but I think it's because of both sides. They don't have the courage to face you or the other person. 